guys, this is Amy's Toy Trove. Today I am here with um, our Briar Calvin. Um, at least I think this is Calvin. Um, two of these were shipped um, from a friend directly here. Um, so I'm just kind of guessing. But I think we, that we have a total of five Calvins. And I'll go ahead and I'll open them so we can see uh, what colors they are. Calvin is the best in show stock horse mold. He's, um, he was also... I don't know if his name was Ariat. Oops, I'm opening the wrong end of the box. Don't do that. Okay. Um, and I don't think he's been used a lot in production. So this guy's a fairly new face to me. He was a 2017 Collector's Club Gambler's Choice model. And I'm referring to Calvin. And the Gambler's Choice came in either a bay, a chestnut, or a blue blanket at Belusa. His original selling price was $30 plus $10.95 shipping, and each color was limited to 500 colors. So as you can see, he just came in this plain uh, mail order box, and then he is bubble wrapped. Last year, Briar did, um, was it last year or earlier this year? Hmm. Scotty was the last gambler shorts they did for the collector's club and I, I think that was last year's model and that was the uh, the swaps mold who came in um, a variety of wonderful colors and off the top of my head I'm going to say Bay Pinto, Silver Bay, um, a Dunalino, uh, Appaloosa, and I think that was it. Um, and we do have a video of Scotty and it's got it being opened here on YouTube. So if you're curious to see that one, uh, you can open uh, the link below. I'll go ahead and I'll link uh, the video to study. So this is actually the color that I was really hoping for. Can you tell? I know it's kind of hard to see through the plastic. So we'll go ahead and finish opening him and then I'll go ahead and um, put his packing in the box so I don't lose any of it and move on to the next model. Um, but I'm fairly certain that this mold was um, released in a, in a Herod version for um, Breyer's uh, Best in Show series and then it also had a molded on main um, which I think I think his name was Ariat and this is the blue the interference blue He's absolutely gorgeous. I'll give you a closer look at him in just a minute. Uh, he has a lot of purple sheen to uh, his coat uh, that can be seen when you turn him. So I really, really like this guy. He reminds me a lot of uh, the Peter Stone Little Bird, who was um, on the Ideal Stock Horse Mold and I believe designed by Karen Gerhart. So this is the Interference Blue um, Calvin, and he is classic scale, not traditional. Awesome, love him. We'll set Mr. Calvin aside there and we'll move on to the next Calvin. So while I am opening these Gambler's Choice Calvins, um, I figured we could do kind of just a little news update on what's going on in the world of Briar and what's going on uh, in our website and retail store. It has been a super, super busy past couple weeks for us. Um, we ran extended hours at our retail store I want to say a week ago, but it might have been two weekends ago, because we had a, uh, a car show in town that brought a lot of traffic, and so we had extended hours, extended days, and I was just so busy doing that that I didn't get much model horse done at all. Yeah, model horse. We're making that into uh, a verb now. Much model horse done. <laughs> um, let's see here eBay wise, eBay made a big uh, update that they're pushing out in the fall. Um, some of these changes we don't agree with, so we will be pulling um, uh, the vast majority of our eBay listings come next May. So you'll be seeing the horses migrate from eBay onto our website, and we will be selling um, primarily on our website. Uh, the main reason for this is because Bar, not Bar, sorry eBay, a briar on the mind, um, is not allowing sellers to use watermarks or identify their photos in every any way, and they're allowing any user to use that photo from the eBay um, catalog. So you could be buying a, uh, a, a vintage model and have people be using um, other people's photos, which is not okay to me 
because uh, you really don't get an accurate representation of what you're purchasing. So that's just not going to fly with us. Plus, I spend a lot of time um, editing all those photos and yeah, they're not free for everyone to use. Sorry, eBay. Uh, you probably saw this as I was um, rambling away there. The second Scotty is the beautiful Bay Blanket Appaloosa. And these guys all have the same Appaloosa pattern. Okay, and Briar-wise, a lot has been going on with Briar. Uh, let's see here. They recently released a, um, oh, the classic Halloween horse goblin. So goblin is a supposedly glow-in-the-dark uh, purple and kind of iridescent whitish greenish decorator. Uh, he was advertised as glowing in the dark but from what I'm hearing from the majority of people is that he does not glow in the dark and the one that I purchased I put under all sorts of different lights and he does not glow in the dark. So I'm going to say um, that at least um, a number of them do not glow in the dark. So if that's something that's a make or break for you uh, don't purchase a goblin if you're set on him or her glowing in the dark. She is a very lovely model and very lovely to look at. Uh, her color stands out a lot, but she definitely uh, doesn't glow in the dark. And I did try UV lights and sunlight and regular light and LED light and just normal fluorescent lights and none of those uh, worked. So I, I don't know if it was false advertising on the part of Briar, if the paint didn't work, or what happened, but for the most part, I believe Goblin does not glow in the dark. And now, I guess I should have opened these two big boxes first, because now they're kind of in the way, so we'll have to do some shifting here. Um, and hopefully not knock down these wonderful Calvins, who I will put over on the bench here, so that they don't get knocked around. Let's see, so much, so much has been going on with Briar. Um, oh, we have, um, what's his name? The new Collectors Club model, whose name is Griffin. He is the, uh, he was um, previewed at Briar Fest, and he's the Cleveland Bay, or the Journeyman mold, in uh, a chestnut color with some um, shading on his mane and tail. Uh, at first I thought he was a Palomino, but then I heard that he was a chestnut. And uh, seeing uh, in-person pictures of him, he is a chestnut. So this is this is Goblin. I ordered these the combined order so that they wouldn't um, get banged around in the mail quite so much, and they separately. But as Briar will ship in just this box if you don't combine your order. So this is, I think, cream. And this is um, Kelp. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the two Kelvins out of this box so I don't have to worry about um, having these two big boxes on my table anymore. And these uh, shipping boxes that I already used, these brown corridor boxes, they're very nice, very sturdy, thick, love them. Um, they also use this uh, tape that uh, has string in it, so it's very strong tape, great tape, love the tape. So this is Calvin, and there's also a Goblin and a Crane in here. Okay, just give me a second to get rearranged for the oops. So these are both Calvin, oh, and I'll get my other Calvins out so we can look at them. So far we have one blue Calvin and two bay Calvins. Back to opening. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, Fletcher. Have you heard about Briar Fletcher? He's a 2018 Collectors Club uh, special run, and he is available um, to some 2017 members. I can't. I don't remember like when you had to have purchased your subscription by, but it was it was later in the year, which would give you access to Fletcher. Or if you're a 2018 member, you have access to Fletcher. And Fletcher is the Wyatt mold in a gorgeous chestnut blanket, I think it's blanket, Appaloosa. And as an add bonus, you can choose to have Fletcher in a glossy or a matte finish. Um, 
first off, you need to put a deposit of $25 down on Fletcher, and his total purchase price uh, will be $75 plus what I expect to be $14.50 shipping. If you want the glossy, he has to be reserved by April, and you specifically have to reserve a glossy. So, um, if you're wanting a glossy Fletcher, I would recommend reserving um, yours by April, which is still plenty of time. You don't have to go and order them right now. You've got lots of time to order them. Just don't forget, and I'm sure Briar will send you lots and lots of emails to remind you not to forget your uh, Fletcher. But he looks absolutely stunning in matte and glossy, so I'll uh, roll hope for both a glossy and a matte. Uh, the Fletcher was the Wyatt Mold, sculpted by Morgan Kilborn, and he's very, very beautiful. Uh, one of the things that I love about that mold is that he has metal rods in his legs uh, that fit into the base, so there's absolutely no peg to break. Um, as happens sometimes on the different types of bases that actually have the plastic peg. This is the chestnut pinto, so we have a set. Yay! But going back to bases, like the bases like Salonero, Huckleberry Bay, um, they have little stands with acrylic pegs that often break off. So one of the things that I absolutely adore about the Wyatt and actually the Allegro Mold too is that they have the metal rods in their legs that will not break. So you won't have to worry about breaking your stand. And if you break your stand, well, <laughs> It's probably pretty strong. I guess it would be easier to break the stand than to break the metal rods in their legs. Um, but again, Fletcher is the 2018 Collector's Club Special Run, and he's the Wyatt Mold in a chestnut uh, blanket Appaloosa with either a glossy or a matte finish. And uh, Briar's just asking uh, for a $25 deposit with a balance due when the horse is released. Tom Breyer also released the, I believe, the fifth Stalemate Club model, which is uh, a decorator. He is um, the G4 Rivet mold, which was sculpted by, uh, I believe, Jane Lunger. I'm sorry if I slaughtered your name there. I have a really horrible habit of doing that, Jane. And he's a really gorgeous, uh, it's kind of a, a playful galloping pose. His, his back is kind of a little bit roached like he's uh, leaping in the air uh, so if you don't know what mold I'm talking about go go to ID your briar and look up rivet he's really cute and the um, allegiance who again is the fifth release in the state of club will be the rivet mold in a translucent clear wear uh, decorator who will have a um, a theme just like Patriot um, and and that theme is kind of red white and blue with stars and he was inspired by Patriot who was the Kathleen Moody clock horse um, who came in also the same clear wear uh, type with uh, red white blue or red blue and translucent uh, stars so now we have another beautiful blue Calvin gorgeous so I, I ordered my uh, Allegiance, and I think I ordered him along with something else, just to um, get the double box shipping on him, and I can't remember what else. And you know, I, I, his shipping was really reasonable. It was only like four fifty, which is great for Briar. Um, who am I missing? Hum dee dum dee doo. Oh, Cor Cornelius. Uh, Collectors Club members, you now have a micro run available for um, a chance to purchase. His name is Cornelius. He is the Brighty Mole, and he's dressed up kind of like candy corn. Um, he's kind of kooky. He looks like candy corn. He's got the orange layer and the white layer and the yellow layer, and the white layer is pearly, so he's really neat. Uh, in the past, Briar's micro runs have been... Um, non-horse molds. So using the Brighty mold, who is the sitting donkey, is probably the closest to the uh, equine uh, type critter that you'll see come from a micro one from Briar. And I'll just show you these uh, beautiful Calvins while I'm jabbing at you here. Uh, Cornelius, you can enter once a day for a chance to win him on the Briar website. Um, until the 19th and then they will draw and notify 50 winners on the 20th. So Cornelius is limited to 50 models and um, his purchase price is $195 plus shipping 
Uh, Briar seems to be basing their cost of shipping not only on the number of things that you order, but the price of the models that you order. So my Duende cost, um, I believe it was $18.50 to ship. So I'm going to guess that um, it'll also cost $18.50 to ship um, Courtney Lace, which will bring the grand total to $212.50, which is actually quite a bit of money, but he's a micro run of, of 50, so there aren't, you know, a lot of them. I'm entering for the chance to win. I think it's kind of cool. Not my favorite. Uh, I'm going to um, flat out say Allegiance is not my favorite either. Um, and I, I actually really like Patriot, so I'm not sure why. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that the Allegiance that I get won't have a whole lot of red. That's, I think, the big turnoff for me on um, that particular model. Um, and, and again, with Patriot, the ones that had a lot of red on their head, I just wasn't too wild about. Um, this year for Briarfest, they had a, the stablemate Navia, who was the Django mold in a kind of a purple and a green translucent um, mm, sort of floral design. She was absolutely gorgeous. So maybe Allegiance will surprise me. We'll see. I have paid for him and um, he will be here. I'm going to say in a week because um, we are located in California and Briar is located in New Jersey. So typically the transit time from the East Coast to the West Coast is about 10 days. And that includes the extra time um, to come down here to Crescent City, which is kind of like in the middle of nowhere. So all of our mail is driven up daily from um, a town called Eureka, which is about 90 miles south of here. So every day the mail is driven up 90 miles um, to Crescent City. And also Briar uses um, SurePost, UPS SurePost to uh, ship their models. So that means that um, they are shipped by UPS, they are picked up by UPS, and they are carried by UPS. And then when they reach their destination they are handed off to the post office for delivery and this is typically they're handed off to the post office for delivery but I, I think at UPS's discretion UPS may deliver them and I don't know if that has to do with maybe um, the load in their trucks if it's convenient for them if they have other packages going to the same house um, but I, I think a lot of it has to do with the holidays uh, I, I noticed last year a lot of our UPS sure post packages were being delivered by UPS themselves um, so I think that plays a factor in um, who actually delivers it, but I don't think that we'll be seeing um, Allegiance. Oh, I ordered Griffin too, but I don't think I'll be seeing him. In, I, and I don't even think next week. It's possible we'll receive them next week, but I'm going to say it more likely the week after next week. Uh, just the mail has been so slow and with all that's been going on weather-wise, um, uh, we have I've noticed a lot of packages that have been delayed going through Texas, both coming and going. I think Texas is just, um, unfortunately, after the flooding, they've been rerouting, and I think those mail centers are getting backed up. So mail is a bit slower, and then coming into the holiday season, you know, Christmas is just around the corner. Um, mail is also slowing down, so um, I do expect to see a bit longer transit times now um, that we're kind of heading into the holiday season. Uh, typically, um, we ship using uh, USPS Priority Mail, which is a two to three day service. Um, you sh um, what was I going to say? Oh, we were getting a lot of packages delivered in two days. And I've noticed that most recently our packages are taking three days. So I think um, uh, some of that might be the weather. Some of that might be that they shut down some of the... Um, the mail distribution centers and some of that might just be that the mail is getting uh, kind of backlogged with um, the holiday season that's coming up. So definitely plan some extra time for any Christmas gifts to be in transit. I'm trying to think if I am forgetting any um, pertinent, not pertinent, but just fun little briar news. Uh, hum -de -dum -de. Nothing that I can think of. I, and again, uh, I try to keep um, the blog up to date with Briar's latest releases. So please check out our blog. Uh, you could um, maybe learn something new because I know Briar's emails don't always go through. I've noticed that. Uh, I have, um, our, our family has 
a couple of accounts and I've noticed that some some of the emails get through to um, some of the email addresses and some of the emails do not get through to some of the email addresses and I, I can't figure out any rhyme or reason to it. Um, this also goes um, for the tracking when um, Briar sends a uh, ship notification. Some of the accounts get a ship notification, some of the accounts don't get a ship notification. And I've also noticed that uh, on the Briar website itself, when you go to look at your order, I, I personally have never seen the tracking updated there. I'm not saying that they don't, but um, I have not seen the tracking updated on my orders. Um, there is something fantastic called um, uh, UPS My Choice. If you go to the UPS.com and you sign up for UPS My Choice, um, it will notify you of packages that are being uh, delivered to your address. So that is a great, great way to uh, track your UPS packages. And then the post office uh, also has a similar service, which is now called, um, gosh, something delivery, informed delivery, which actually has changed from, it used to be like UPS, my, U, my USPS. And now it's called informed delivery and I was looking at it the other day and this kind of freaked me out but um, when you go to that uh, informed delivery you will now see your mail and it is scanned so you'll see a picture of the uh, envelope with the address your address and then the address of the sender so that's being scanned somehow or another um, which kind of I don't know it just kind of creeps me out but the packages are not scanned just the letters which is actually kind of a bummer because I would love to see the packages. That might be kind of fun, but I don't want to see all the junk mail that I get. <laughs> and I think, oh no, here comes the bill. There's the bill on the way. And yep, there's a copy of it right there on a USPS uh, informed delivery for me to see. So overall, these cabins are really nice. Um, I have kind of just been chatting at you and I haven't looked them over real super closely. Um, but the only thing that caught my eye was on the bay. Um, come here, Mr. Bay Calvin. He had, uh, oh, wait, maybe it was the other Mr. Bay Calvin. No? Well, gosh, golly darn. Um, so much for, um, that. Okay. I'm just going to kind of go over them a little, um, closer. Um, this guy has a really faint gray mark on the top of his rump there. I mean, none of these have major flaws. I mean, nothing like jumped out at me like when um, I got my first one day and I was like, oh my gosh, this is bad. The flaws are horrible. These guys are, um, they all look pretty nice. And, and as far as a comparison to Scotty, um, I think because this is a newer mold, they have less flaws than Scotty because I received and still own to this day a half-eared Scotty who arrived straight from Briar with a ear that was so blunted that it was only half of an ear. So he is my half-eared Scotty and that was the Glossy Bay Tobiano, which was the color that I really, really wanted. So it was kind of a bummer. Actually, it was really a bummer. Um, however, we recently um, received a collection that has another Bay Pinto Scotty in it, and I haven't had a chance to look at him closely, but I might be able to use him as a replacement to my half-eared Scotty. Um, so, you know what? You love variations? <laughs> Maybe you're interested in a half-eared Scotty. Um, but he is gorgeous. And one of these guys, oh, yeah, okay, here we go. This guy has um, a little vertical gray line on the front of his muzzle. Again, nothing nothing too outstanding on these guys they're not signed on the belly and they have their uh the vin number on their at least this guy has the vin on hit the bottom of his right hind hoof um all the, all the models that come from china now have that vin number on their hoof i'm not sure why it is i'm sure it's required by law um i don't i don't think that the u.s models have it oh and look this blue one has it on his left or right front hoof so in just a minute I'm going to compare the VIN numbers on these two different, different colors to see if um, to see if that VIN number varies oh it was the blue one okay this blue one just has this really faint gray mark kind of gray dot on his blanket which looks like it's kind of in in the plastic that that's my guess um, that or it's under the gloss and I just love this here see um, his color's really similar, actually not so similar, somewhat similar to Mirror Image and Reflector. Uh, Mirror Image and Reflector were a lot more dark and purple, and then when you rotated them, you would get a blue sheen. So this guy's kind of the opposite. He's 
blue, but and when you rotate him, he gets a purple sheen. So let's look for his vent, which is on his right front foot. Okay, so let's check this out. This is the bay, the vent is on his right hind hoof. And this is my other bay, the vent is on his right hind hoof. And this is the chestnut, and the vent is on his right hind hoof. Okay, so the chestnut, I know I'm not gonna remember this full number, so um, 0717 GCDG, you got that right everyone? Because I sure don't. Here, hopefully my camera will focus on it. Okay, that's the chestnut. And then the bay is 0717 CDG. So I think these are exactly the same. They just have it on different hooves. And maybe Briar did that on purpose. Um, although both the chestnut and the bay here, they both have that VIN on the bottom of their left hind hoof. And this bay is 0717CDG and also on his right hind hoof. And this is the only one that differed, this blue one. He had the VIN on his left front foot and the VIN is 0717GCDG. Is that different? GCDG, no. So it's exactly the same, it's just on a different foot. It's on the right front foot on the blue. I am keeping some of these and some of these will be for sale. Uh, so we'll look for them. Um, I do plan on keeping a set for myself. I kept a set of the Scotties. And I do plan on keeping a set of the Kelvins. I really enjoy the Gambler's Choice models. So I think he, oh, one more thing, Briar News. Okay, Briar also recently released um, some warehouse finds. Now what Briar warehouse finds are, um, are basically um, kind of reruns of models that have already been created. And off the top of my head, they had Bear, the black bluegrass bandit. They had a dapple gray stock horse mare who in the, um, the Briar pictures look to be the most different from the original run. She had a lot darker dapples. They had a Palomino Pinto San Domingo, who to me looked a bit more yellow than his original release. And then who am I forgetting their head to? Oh, there was, um, I think his name is Double Take. It was the Justin Morgan and Chestnut. Uh, and, and they all looked very similar to their regular releases. So I, I don't really know the story behind Briar Warehouse Finds. They've got a section on their website called Warehouse Finds, so you can take a look at them there. Originally they released um, these new Warehouse Finds to Collectors Club members first, um, but now they're open to everyone. And I think the only one that I ordered was the um, bear, the, the black bluegrass bandit, um, because I, I missed out on that one who was, um, gosh, I don't even remember. Uh, what he was a run for but um yeah that was one that I wanted to add to my collection so take a look at Briar's website and look at their warehouse finds and you can see the new models which again are re-releases so they have been produced before but typically they have a little variation in their paint job so if you can't go one of those maybe you want to take a look at the warehouse finds but um nothing too spectacular there in my personal opinion so let me think I think that just about wraps it all up. Um, yep, that's all I can think of to say for today. Uh, this is, let's see here, what is today? Today is Wednesday, Wednesday the 18th, I believe. So we're about halfway through the month and um, I'll try to touch base with you guys in about another week or so. Um, we'll see what other new news Briar has come out with and um, what's going on at the store because we have a lot of new inventory in which actually is not Briar's um, but it's still a lot of fun inventory. So I will chat at you guys next week. Thanks for watching.